I bet when you woke up this morning, you weren't thinking that there would be a 108 megapixel camera phone. And yet, this is the world we live in today. Xiaomi has officially unveiled the CC9 Pro, and it features a sensor with the highest resolution you'll find on a phone, period. Even Fujifilm's GFX100 medium format camera falls short of that number at 102 megapixels, although its sensor is 15 times larger. But the CC9 Pro isn't done with its cameras, oh no. It also has four other cameras, a five times telephoto option, a sharper two times telephoto, a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle, and a two megapixel macro camera. But let's go back to that 108 megapixel sensor for a minute. This thing was designed together with Samsung, and it's relatively big at 1 over 1.33 inches. It's almost three quarters the size of the one on the Sony RX100 Mark 7, and just slightly smaller than the one on the old Nokia PureView 808. That means there's a bit more room than on the average smartphone camera sensor to cram in those megapixels, and the high resolution should not come at the expense of light sensitivity. Speaking of, Xiaomi also offers a new Night Mode 2.0 for better photos in low light, and the CC9 Pro can capture raw photos in dark situations using multi-frame noise reduction. Sounds like a mobile photographer's dream. In addition to the wild camera setup, the CC9 Pro also packs a massive 5260 milliamp hour battery and a 6.47 inch AMOLED display running at Full HD+. Powering all this is a Snapdragon 730G chipset, surprisingly, not a higher end 855, so I'm not sure if performance is gonna be the speediest. Still, these are pretty impressive specs and features for a phone that'll cost just 27.99 yuan, or about 400 US dollars, for the base model with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. Like most Xiaomi phones, the CC9 Pro will be available first in China, although the company did hint at global availability this time around. If you want to learn more about phones from around the world, or just want to check out reviews of devices you can actually buy in the US, be sure to subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching.